Hello Techies. In this session, we will learn how to get list of all items from the drop down by using extract from web page action as part of browser automation. All right, let's start with small use case. Let's go back to the browser where we are having the URL nseindia.com slash market data slash live equity market. Once it has been loaded, there you can see I'm having a drop down that is category. In my category drop down, I'm having n number of items over here. If I'm going to select different items from the drop down, the below table will get updated or change. Now, once again, if I'm going to select Nifty 50, in that case, I will get different symbols, open, high, low prices, and also we'll get the previous price along with that we are having many columns such as 52 weeks high, 52 weeks low, and all this data will be loaded. Now, as part of this tutorial, how can I extract the data from the drop down or how can I extract the list of items from the drop down by using extract data from the web page action? All right, let me go back to the Power Automate desktop. Now, in our previous sessions, we have used launch new Chrome as well as close web browser. And if you see launch new Chrome navigates to www.nseindia.com slash market hyphen data slash live equity market, right? Now we are hanging the drop down in the particular URL. So I need to extract that data from the drop down. So how can I go ahead and do that? by using extract data from the web page. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Now, if you observe the concept of extract data from web page action, it extracts data from specific parts of the web page in a such a way it may be the data table, it may be a single value, it may be list, it may be rows or tables, all right? Now, if you see the parameters over here for the extract data from web page, first parameter is web browser instance. We are already got the instance from the launch new Chrome that we are going to select that. And after that, we are hanging timeout. We are going to give it as 60 seconds. And whatever the data we got it as an output will store in the stored data mode that is variable or Excel spreadsheet. But over here, I'm going to select the variable which it will store the list of items from the drop down, and then I will store the data in the variables produce that is list categories. Because of I'm having the categories and I'm having list of items in the categories. Now, before getting into the live web helper, first of all, we need to get the categories. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to identify the element by using inspect. How can we inspect this element? Now, I'm going to right click on the categories drop down and then I'm going to inspect it. Now you will get a developer tools over here. There you can see the elements over here. Then again, if you see over here, that is select equate stock select number, right? If you observe in the developer tool, there you can see I can get the values over here that is select area label by equal to to live market stock cell label. Now, I'm, I can use it, this select option to get the drop down, or I can use the ID also. Now, for the time being, what I'm going to use, I'm going to use select option over here to get area label by equal to live market stock cell label one. I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going back to my live web helper, and there you can see I'm having advanced settings. There, if you observe in my extract data from the web page, advanced settings, there's the extract. So what kind of data that we can extract? There you can see I can extract single value, hand-picked values, list, table, and entire HTML table. But right now, the dropdown having the list of items so that I'm going to select list, and then I'm going to give base CSS selector. So now what I have to do, I need to select the values, list of values in the dropdown. Now I'm going to give the CSS over here as select and I'm going to start square brackets. Inside my square brackets, I'm going to give the value 
that is which we got it at the time of inspection that is area lab labeled by equal to live market stock cell label one and i'm going to close the square brackets now we need to get the options over here right we are having in the drop down we are having multiple options over there such as you can select one value at the same time by using drop down now i'm going to give option over here and if you see the css selector i'm not going to give any css selector and after that in the attribute i'm going to give own text all right and after that i'm not going to use any kind of regular expression to get the values from the drop down that is category now i'm not going to use any paging and then i'm going to click on okay once you click on okay now if you observe the extract data from the web page action that is live web helper extracted the first 20 items in the category drop down element there you can see i'm having nifty 50 nifty next 50 and whatnot all the values that is first 20 items from the list has been extracted this is for the extraction preview only in the form of list all right let me click on finish and then i'm going to click on save for the extract web page click on save now what are the data extracted from the drop down or the list of items will be stored inside my variable that is list categories all right we'll see that by executing this desktop flow let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started as a first step it will navigate to the url that is nseindia.com by using launch new chrome action once the web page has loaded successfully it will try to extract the list of items from the drop down that belongs to the category now it is trying to extract the data from the list and then it has closed the browser now if you see in the output we got list of categories with 58 rows and one column let's double click on that to see the output which we have received from the drop down let's double click on that now if you see in the list categories variable we are having data table with the result as all list of values has been identified and it is more than you can observe they are having 50 items in the drop down all right this is how we are going to extract the list of items from the drop down by using extract data from web page there is another way to extract the list of items from the web page especially from the drop downs by using run javascript action in the upcoming session we will learn how to extract the data from the drop down by using run javascript action